to welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Renekton LeBlanc. That's right, we're going to be trying out two new champions together with a Shirima Noxus aggro deck. We're going to be playing a little bit of a bigger version of an aggro deck that has a good amount of Overwhelm. We're going to have cards like Iron Ballista. Of course, the Renekton has Overwhelm, Ruin Runner, and then even Armored Tusk Rider. That's right, Armored Tusk Rider being awesome and everything. So we're going to try out all those, Captain Farron with the Overwhelm. So there should be like an aggressive deck that's maybe a little bit better against all these like Ice Shards and Avalanches and things like that, because um, we'll have our larger units. Plus, we're going to be able to play a longer game with Whispered Words, because we're going to have, uh, hopefully have some reputation happen um, with five damage. You know, LeBlanc, of course, has five power. Reddington says it has four power, but if we challenge, we can make that a six, five. So we have some cards to help it challenge between Exhaust, Rock Hopper, Ruthless Predator, the Sand Spinner. Sand Spinner also having the five power. So lots of ways to give things vulnerable in our deck. Um, but yeah, we're going to be just kind of curving out, attacking. Chronomancer will help our late game. Um, and then we even have like some good spells during combat where we can use like they block. Like we, we attack with like big overwhelm. They block with something. We go bloody business. And now our overwhelm deals damage to their nexus. Same with Whirling Death. So those can be some cool little tricks there. A little bit of protection with Ride of Negation. And that's our deck. So let's get to it. Let's go ahead and try some Renekton LeBlanc. Ooh, playing some aggro. Misfortune Gangplank. All right, you're gone, you're gone. And I will keep the other two. Hello, opponent. All right, good little curve out here. So we have the attack token on the odd turns, which is nice with this combo. So we can play Sand Spinner on turn four on their attack turn, give something vulnerable, then play Renekton um, on turn five and attack with Renekton. So this is just a good hand. Good curve out. And I am not going to trade those. My thinking is, is that if I, if I don't trade them, I don't know, maybe I should. If I don't trade it, like I have this 2 3 that can still block this. No one's the like, if, if they were going to play, like, Legion Grenadier this next turn, this would help me out. Um, I'm thinking about putting them all back. Yeah, I'm going to just skip them. Because I, I already have LeBlanc for next turn, so I don't need the Iron Blista. Don't touch it. Damn it. It is nice that you get to skip. No prey. I definitely didn't realize that at first with Predict, that um, just reading Predict that you that you do have the option to send them all back if you don't like any of the three. Just, uh, just pretend I'm not here, right? The soul wears away like grains of sand. Set sail! Shorima. War Mason, reporting for duty. I am their end. Face your end. <laughs> the two one attacking into the two three is not the best attack, but it would make it easier for like like they take a lot of damage if they block the two three with the two one. Like they take a ton of damage, so. Well, hopefully, no Noxion Fervor. I feel pretty good about this if they do not have Noxion Fervor. If this damage just happens. Wow. Do we have any ways to deal one point of damage? Do we have any non-combat? Can we get one point of damage in besides combat? I guess that's what I'm asking. I, I can't think of one off the top of my head. A second LeBlanc. There we go. Yeah. Because then LeBlanc's champion spell is Mystic Shot. So let's start here. Mm. 
Okay, so I either draw another two cards or I can just like exhaust to like save two life. Um, because I, I definitely gonna want to have Whirling Death available, right? So do I want to just like save two life or have like the off chance that I have a I have a two out of twenty eight chance of drawing another LeBlanc? So two out of twenty eight is one out of fourteen. One out of fourteen is like seven percent. So it's only a, yeah, so only a seven percent chance that we actually draw lethal. Do I need this exhaust? Maybe not. I don't know. All right, I'm going to pass. Listen and learn. Bet. Coming in hot. Yeah, I understand the 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 Mystic Shot that LeBlanc gets is one mana, but it's it's still just a Mystic Shot. But yeah, I know it costs different amount of mana. Okay, so I'm not going for the super high upside of. Um, and I'm kind of glad I'm not doing that. So yeah, not going for the high upside of like killing them immediately right now, but. Listen to me. Humble yourself. <laughs> So this is me taking like three damage. Alright, so still staying at a very high life total. You're not leveled up yet. Oh, man. We better not have just drawn Noxion Fervor also. Yay. That was a close one. That was a close one. It was inevitable. Ooh, no, Fjorshen. Fjorshen, pretty great. They got barriers. Um, I'm gonna mulligan the five mana card, even though it's a cool five mana card, but it's still a five mana card. And I kind of want to mulligan LeBlanc, to be honest. Quick Attack just doesn't really work that well against... Obviously, you're gone. Quick Attack just doesn't really work very well against barriers. And two health against Fleet Feather Tracker and, um, you know, barrier a River Shaper, all that kind of stuff. I think I'll go with Rock Hopper plus Doom Keeper next turn. I'm in there. Sun's beneath me and winds behind me. Certainly makes playing Fiora a little worse. The Emperor commands the land obey. I turn it like so. I'm very happy about that. We just traded a one drop for a Spirit's Refuge, which is an incredibly good card. Very happy about that. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Look what good comes of mortal greed. Dude, Sand Spinner is sweet. This is a card that I did not play enough of whenever I started playing Shrine the Decks the first week. Mm. 
Stop. So I probably should have just played the Iron Ballista as well, since I, you know, because that would have gave me the anti repost card still, the quicksand. Yeah, like, I think I should have played this last turn as well. Could have attacked for an additional four points of damage. Make path. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. If I play Chronomancer, it gives them an easy kill. Don't want to do that. Definitely doing this. Predator helps turn on Reputation, but I still can't turn on Reputation either way. It would just be like 3 out of 4, like best case scenario. Wow. Wow. No spells. Wow. I didn't realize we were in no spell November. Black Rose. I'll make it three out of four. Yeah, I kind of felt like they were going to have that card. Good card. Good card. Just gonna kill whatever they want for free. Basically, because that was the worst case scenario for us. That's a bug. Okay, let's see. Let's lead with Chronomancer. So I can see if we put something on top that I want to whisper words. Like a bloody business? Ruthless Predator with the Vulnerable, getting that out of here. So let's see. I have eight mana, four. I want one of these two. I'm not sure exactly which one. They're at seven. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. The desert by my side. They, they do stay alive. This is a this is a bad spot for LeBlanc. What am I? LeBlanc needs to be fourth. Okay, I was gonna say they do stay alive with single combat. So they didn't have it, thankfully, and we are two and zero. If they did stay alive with single combat, we were going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I don't. I'd have to go back and see it again. Sign up. I, I'm not sure what the the three from heal, wrong order, and four from ballista. I'm not sure what that. Did. I don't know. I'd have to go back and I don't I don't know what that is. I whatever it was, I missed it. You're definitely gone, right? In case you don't do anything, and predator, I think you're gonna have to be gone also. But can I afford to keep two four mana cards? They're both very powerful. Four mana cards, but I don't know if I can afford to keep two of them. I I want to though. That's what I was worried about is us drawing more five and six mana cards. 
Good, we got two, 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 two mana cards. That's good. <laughs> yeah, we, we cheated today by playing Zoe Aphelios, basically. Alright, Whirling Death will be a good removal spell, good interaction. That we play at fast speed, like they open attack, and I can use the Whirling Death during an open attack. That's going to be useful. Yeah, whenever I challenge that 3-2 last and they play that Lifesteal Barrier on them, I know that they healed 3 from that. And if I would have challenged first, they wouldn't have been able to do that. If I would have challenged first, they, they may just not even play that 3-2 Barrier. I'm I'm really glad they played that Barrier. I don't I don't mind at all challenging that last. I don't... I would do that exact same thing again. Like, if we get that Barrier out of their hands for that one drop, I'm, I'm thrilled with that. So, yeah, I don't, I don't... I don't think that was a mistake one bit. I turn it like... See what we see. Okay, okay. But yeah, I remember what you're talking about now with like the with the with yeah, not playing the ballista first. That could have got yeah, that could have got me another four points because it was pretty obvious they wanted to keep repost available. This this could backfire with Glimpse Beyond. Wow. All right. Well, that, that backfired. Should have just gone Rock Hopper and had my three one block. Yeah, that was. All right. I need to, I need to focus on this game. Okay, yeah, that was that was a bad play by me. Should have played Rock Hopper. Yeah, I really should have saved that Whirling Death. That that may cost me this game. We'll have to see, but. Like curse keepers and stuff like that, or uh, blighted caretaker if they have that, which obviously they do. It's gonna make my life really bad. Pride was my end, as it will be yours. All right, I, I threw this game away. That's really disappointing. Don't touch it. It's not safe. I imagine we lose here to Ruinous Path, but I I really threw this game away. This could have definitely been a win. Like if I play the 3-1, we just we just trade with the 3-3, three, three. who cares if they have the glimpse beyond? Then like that turn now I have the whirling death. Like during that open attack. Okay, same deck. We'll try to do better this time. You're gone. Both Azir and Lucian sit back, and they're both really important things to kill. And so that's why I like the bloody business, is because they can they can kill both of those things. But we do need to have an ally with five plus power. Like that's the difficult thing here. It's a big difference having the attack token turn one or not in this matchup. It's a it's a huge difference. Last opponent and this opponent have the attack token turn one, and it's I don't want to meet whatever pretty rough. All right, definitely want that one mana card. Don't get in my way. See what I've learned. Spears ready. Interesting.
see what we see. So Not the Fleet Feather Tracker? They just want things to die? To level up this Lucian? Of course I'm keeping the spell mana for the Predator to be able to challenge the Lucian. They have another barrier, that's bad news. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm doing the predictions. Sorry, it's a little into the game. We'll find our prey. Cut them to no retreat. Alright, that Lucian didn't level up. Good news, good news. Good Valor. Good Valor. That kills Renekton. So I'm taking 10 going down to 6. Huh. Huh. Not sure why they didn't attack again. I know we get more damage in if I attack with the Ruin Runner, but I am pretty confident in killing them next turn either way with, like, all these Overwhelm things. And I can't kill them this turn. So might as well just save the Ruin Runner for blocking. And, of course, the Tusk Rider can get in there because enemies with four or less power cannot damage me. There's still no reason for that. There, like The Grizzle Ranger should still block. It'd save them one life. Unless, what, Rally or something? Oh, Cataclysm? Okay, so that, that makes sense of why you don't block. Because you have just single combat in your hand. Tusk Rider taking no damage. That gets rid of their scout attack. Hey, Randani. Yeah, this is a really nice ability here with this Tusk Rider of just being able to Infy block and Infy attack and just never have to worry about it taking damage. That's that's really, really nice for sure. We saw that with like the Ruin Runner of how they were <clears throat> able to kind of take down my Ruin Runner. Big. See, they come in, in twos. I have two of them. All right, so block, block, block. My desert, my rules. Press on. All right, down to five. There we go. Good job, elephants. The herd of elephants. Make that three and one. There we go. Make up for that loss just a little bit ago. All right, another LeBlanc deck. Someone with Ash. Probably bad news for us because Ash decks have all the Frostbite. And the Frostbite is good against stuff. Good against like going big, like what we're doing. So this is probably a, a poor matchup for us. Now, we do have some Spell Shield. And that Spell Shield is going to be valuable. 
Yeah, this matchup's really hard. He said, yeah, like, I, I, am, I am envision this being poor for us with Frostbite. We're doing a really poor job of having the attack token turn one for these odd attacks. I want to keep this Ruthless Predator alive with plus two plus zero. Obviously, worst case scenario is Troll Chant. Ooh, doesn't say Troll Chant would save two things. Okay, well, we'll just kind of do some trading. So we're kind of even up, even up on life total, even up on cards, but I got a 4 3 in play. So that's good. I've heard that too, that the Ascendant Call, like when you have the Emperor's deck, that the Ascendant Call is the last card, so if you're doing nab stuff, it it always like nabs that card. I have heard that as well. That I also cannot confirm that. You cannot hide forever, Nasus. Nasus. Should definitely be Gnosis. Gnosis, much cooler than Nasus. Yeah. Can't stop this frostbite. They go. Uh, harsh winds. Yep, can't stop that. But I can kill their LeBlanc. And hopefully killing their little block slows them down a little bit. Maybe it gets me a little bit more time to get to this Captain Farron. Another one of these. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. I'd rather have a spell that costs three or less mana, because I want to play Captain Farron next turn, so I want to draw a spell that costs three or less mana, but we didn't end up having that. Alright, um... Let's go with you. You know, maybe I should be giving the thing with two health, the vulnerable. But I wanted to just reduce this thing's power. Good news. That's good news. Four and one. Look at that. Three, four, one today. One, one, four. <laughs> Looks like that. That was the record today. Either three, four, one, or one, four. I don't think I've ever had a day out of you know like a year of playing Runeterra four decks a day. I don't think I've ever had only four ones and one fours. And you know, a day with zero, you know, with no twos or threes or fives. But yeah, Rennington on the Blanc, not fancy, but uh, gets gets the job done. So good deck. That's all. That's all you really want. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this one. Uh, we're gonna keep on having you know more and more different 
uh, champion combinations and keep on testing stuff out. But I have to say that, that this one went pretty well for us with um, all these big overwhelm units. Tusk Rider mvp <laughs> all right anyway those y'all y'all on youtube hit that like button leave those comments let me know what you think i'm pretty sure i just said all that but i just said it again if i didn't <laughs> but anyway uh thank you so much for watching i should probably say that twice thank you for watching i, re I mean I, I can't say that enough i really appreciate it y'all are amazing um and have a wonderful day uh thanks for watching i'll see you for the next video